Greetings, people of the world. Today is Monday, the 29th of July, 2024. And as you can see, there's an opportunity to get into this old garage on Watling Street Road. The problem I have is that I'm going to be seen going in there unless I find a window of opportunity and I can get in within seconds without being seen. Now I could go underneath this gap and then run round, but there are a lot of cars. I'm not sure if anyone would bother calling the police if I was seen. There's a lot of traffic everywhere. We're gonna go for it. We're gonna slide my bag underneath here and then I'm gonna crawl through. I don't want to film the bag. I put the camera there and we're in. I'm stuck. Shit. I'm stuck underneath it. So far so good. Now, too many people can see me. Oh, shit. The police have just gone past. I don't think they're gonna bother. Let's hope not. I don't think they care, but we'd better run in case they come back. Right, so here we go. We're in the grounds now. And, oh, you're not gonna believe it. There's no way in. I thought that was a way in. That's probably why the cops didn't bother. So there's a failed urbex straight away. No, it isn't a failed urbex. Check this out. And look at the old ripped up ventilation. Looks like we've had AI robots here again. Or a frantic zombie. Right, let's go. Let's get in. First of all, I'm going to have to put my bag in first okay so I'll drop the bag there <clears throat> see I shouldn't really be carrying all this stuff around with me when I go on urbexes and this isn't the easiest way to get in either I could always put the camera on top of this I hope there's no one in hello if there's any homeless in I'm only an urban explorer making a video there's no one in here is there no, nope. that's good. Right, so I'm going to jump down here. Bloody hell. Now I'll have to reach the camera. Okay. <clears throat> well, I hope my voice is okay. This is the window we came in through. Let me give you an update of where we are. Now that I'm starting to relax a little bit. We're on Watling Street Road in Fullwood, which is kind of North Preston, for those that don't know this town. And check this out. Wow. I just want to save the moment without actually looking at the camera lens. I don't know if I need my torch. I better get it out of the bag anyway. So let's put this camera down a minute. You see, I should have some kind of utility belt, really, where I can just grab things out of it, like my zombie gun. And I don't even know where the torch is now. There's a lot of messing around having to do it this way. I can't find my torch. Did I even put it in the bag? Bear with me. You probably want to forward this bit. There it is, I found it. What was that robot called in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy? The depressed one. Because I'll show you something in a minute. It wasn't Marvin, was it? There was a robot in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And he's in here, look. Check this out now. Was he called Marvin? He was depressed a lot, wasn't he? Do you see? There he is. Oh, hello. I'm so depressed, I can't take another day. 
It is. It's the robot from Hitchhikers. Before we go in there, well, actually, we're in here now. Wow, check this out. This is fascinating. I'm glad the skylight's in here. I thought I'd need my torch. It's bigger than I thought it was. In case of a fire, proceed to the meeting point, front door of Fullwood Gallery. And we have a control panel that's been completely gutted. It's Marvin's control panel. Perhaps he was so depressed, he thought to end it all, I'll just rip out all my circuits. He's left one, but it's in the off position, so we can leave that alone. We'll check that out after. And there's some ladders there that don't seem to go anywhere. More quantum ladders. Ladders to nowhere. You can see my reflection. I don't really want to be... We'll try this new torch now. Okay, that's kind of bright. So this is the front of the building. I believe it was an old car sales room once. And that's where I thought I'd be able to get in. Let's go around here. I won't talk too much now. Let's uh, see what's going on. Because I want to capture the moment. This is where we came in, isn't it? Yeah. Let's look at the toilet. I mean, there's not much left of it, is there? That's been well and truly smashed. Toilet inspection not necessary. Does this switch do anything? No, we'll leave it in the off position. And someone's raided all the tissues. And this door's been boarded up. Where were we? I don't want to waste time. But I can relax now. I don't think anyone's going to come in at this time of day. So we'll get the torch back on. We'll go over here. So Watling Street Road is out there. We're not far from, yeah, this was it, Sherry Green Garage. Daihatsu, or Daihatsu, however you pronounce it. So I assume they sold those cars here at one time. I'm trying to look at the camera, shine the light so it isn't too glaring and look at the viewfinder at the same time. I'm trying to improve my videography skills. Look at this. It's a Faraday cage. Oh my God, it is. I know where to come now if there's a nuclear war or any MP weapon gets deployed. I can come in here. How about that? My own Faraday cage. The problem is, this place is likely to be boarded up or completely obliterated by the blast. We're back in this space again. Um, some kind of ventilation system. I can turn the torch off. Tough coat of dinol and an old bell. Over here we have a load of wood. And I've seen something I'm going to salvage. I'm having that. It's a roll of black duct tape. Yes, there's enough there to utilise. I'll put you on there for now and I'll stick that in my bag in a minute. Uh, I don't think anyone's going to miss the half used roll of duct tape and some kind of glass window. It's a big window that a door and a number plate PJ09 Yahweh that's God's number plate no way God was here he had a Daihatsu so now we know what kind of car God drives and some metal hazards here probably some kind of car lift at one time there was a clicking sound then are you filming okay? Yes. What's that? Is that a coat hanger? Yeah. Another control panel. No pigeons flying around. I'd have thought there would be, unless I've scared them off. Right, let's go into this room. Let's get the torch on. I wonder if this was a teleportation chamber once. 
There's a light switch, all the wires have been ripped out. I've learnt that it's a good idea to have the torch kind of offset and not directly where you're filming, otherwise that happens. So if I kind of tilt it slightly to the left or right, depending which way I'm going, I can avoid that problem. I mean, it's taken me, what, three years of urbexing to finally work that one out. There's not much left in here. There's some kind of, I thought that was a cellar then. It isn't. No, I don't want to mess around there really. More wood. We have some ladders. We're going to climb them, if it's safe. And we've got a jumping spider. We'll put the camera there while I climb up the rest of the ladders. Please don't collapse while I'm on them. And we'll go up here. I don't really know what the point of going up here is. But at least I can say I've done it. So, there we go. Sorry, Mr. Spider. I'm probably going to get dirty now. I hope this ceiling doesn't collapse. But as you can see, I'm on this ceiling now. There's no point going over there. But look how high up I am now. I've had my eye on this place for about a year or so. I can't believe I've got in. I am actually made up. PJ09 Yahweh. There he is again. I hope God's watching me now because I've got to climb down again with this backpack on. So I'll put the camera on my neck. It's going to be wobbly. And then the lens cap went in front of the camera. How can this be so hot? Uh, what the? What was that? It wasn't me breaking wind. Oh, it was that piece of wood behind me. Come on, let's go. Here we go, I'm climbing down these ladders now. This reminds me of a very miniature scale ladder climb of the Odeon. Remember, that was an epic ladder. That's like the baby version. We're done in here. Am I missing anything? Nope. So we'll go back through my Faraday cage, my EMP protective space. Looks like there's been a homeless guy perhaps at one time. Let's get some more lights, get you on a brighter level. Bricked up windows. Ceiling, some more hooks, shelves. That must have been where they had car parts. And someone's tried to rip the wires down. Okay, we're back in here. We're going to be calling it a day any moment because, yep, yeah, I've exhausted all possibilities. There's nothing else to see. We haven't been in here yet, have we? Oh, shit. Sorry about that. More control panels. A switch. Does this do anything? I heard someone. No, it's all been disabled. Showroom. Nothing up there. It's kind of a ceiling. Let's go in here. Hello. Auto trader. Some cupboards, a safe. Again, I think I may have struck gold. Yet another safe. How many buildings do I find safes in? I always remember the one that I found in the old, ye olde computer shop. Let's see if we can break into it. There's a lock. I don't have that kind of key on me. That's no good, is it? Nope, there's no way of opening that. It'd be just my luck, there's a million pounds in it. If only I had one of these mortise type keys on me, I don't. Never mind. Oh well, we tried. So we're going to call this one a day. One last look round here. I think there is something we've missed. What's this? No, that was the way in. 
some switches. Should we be responsible and turn all these switches off? One of them came back on. Must be a poltergeist. And let's close this door as well. Move that. There we go. So I've closed this kind of metaphysical door that doesn't really open or close into anything. And we're going to leave. One last look at the old empty Daihatsu car showroom of God. We'll have a quick look outside now that it doesn't particularly matter. I've made my video so it doesn't really it's of no concern if anyone says anything now I've got my footage there's no way out there so we're gonna have to climb out of the toilet window again should we do this in real time what I'll have to do is put the camera there and watch out for that glass there's a shard of glass sticking out so we'll drop the bag down there and then we'll do that way well, they could have made this window a bit wider. Now I've got to watch out for this glass. You see. So if I duck and get my head up, done it. And grab on top of this and pull my leg out. And read it. Okay. Can you hear me still? Is that still far away? Yes. No way. I've done it. There's something else I'm interested in now that I'm here. And that is this place. Apparently, this is surrounded by metal fences. So I think that building is empty and there's building sites there. None of that is urbexable. It's out of bounds. It's private property it isn't abandoned so we'll take the notice and that's the back of people's houses so again if you're thinking of urbex in here by the time i upload this one it's probably going to all have changed really because this will be in my queue now in fact i might even do something responsible and fix this so it looks like, yeah, if I do that, you see, yeah, that's better. It provides some cover. A giant mole has been in here. There we are, Cherry Green Garage. Thank you for the opportunity to make this video. And now, while all these cars and drivers are perplexed about what I'm doing we'll have a quick look here right what's this nah there's no entry there so we're gonna have to go back underneath this gap again we'll do the whole thing in real time so if I put the camera, you're still filming, aren't you? We'll film this plant. And then, oh shit, books are coming past. That's all I need. Okay. I'm going to get covered in dirt and dust. Oh, no. We've made it. We got out. I'm very soiled at the minute with gravel. So there you have it. Sherry Green Garage. I've been waiting a year or so for the opportunity to get in there. So I'm quite pleased. And I have a spike in adrenaline. That's the end of this video. Thanks for watching and I will see you all 
on the next exciting adventure. Take care. Bye for now.